Hello everybody and welcome back to the Long Island Railroad Route for the show 2019. I'm your host, Empire State Rails. Welcome to episode 3 guys. I hope you guys have all had a good week. Um, updates, updates. I'm recording this as of January 19th, which means yesterday the first episode came out. I just want to state that um, even before episode 1 came out, I was sending screenshots of new progress to um, multiple different Discord servers, and I was getting a lot of good feedback. And I also, there's a lot of people who are interested, so I'll just say this right now. I, by the way, first off, none of this is a promise, none of this is a guarantee. The people, pardon me, the people that I'm, I'm talking to about this, um, we are, you know, this is just in discussions, right? There's nothing concrete, but we got a couple things going. So, uh, first off, some people have expressed interest in uh, reskins, kit bashing, and uh, asset finding. Uh, and the asset finding is really important considering it's. I mean, we've got some uh, we've got some some complicated uh, assets that we need, uh, which is why I'm I'm even doing this section of Mineola and not continuing the downtown part. Uh, first off, I just wanted to change the pace, but also, I mean that that uh transportation center, whatever you want to call it, with the garage and the bus terminal and the, the overhead, elevator, walkway, th that, that was complicated, I mean, so I'm, I'm putting that off because I'm honestly just scared of doing it, um, so that's why we're even working on this section here today, um, uh, what else, um, you might hear like a, a humming sound in the background. I'm sorry if there is. Uh, I'm sorry if it's noticeable. Uh, that's just my laptop overheating. Because God forbid I perform any other task besides a Google search. Um, and the big one though is I'm in the talks with someone about extending the route even further than anticipated. So instead of doing um, just to you know uh, reiterate plan for this route is Mineola to East Wilston, Floral Park to Hicksville, Floral Park to Hempstead. So the entire Hempstead branch, the, you know, the important part of the main line, and uh, just one stop on the, on the uh, Oyster Bay branch. But I'm having talks with the Sunset Collection on YouTube. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Go subscribe to his channel. I'm in talks with him. He was actually, and again, because episode one only came out yesterday, and I just sent screenshots. When I sent the screenshots, he said that he had actually already started a little bit on a uh, uh, part of the route, too. Uh, he was starting from Huntington, so uh, we're in talks, and, and hopefully this, this uh, you know, continues. Uh, but this route could be extended all the way to Huntington, which would be great, because then we'd be adding... Uh, Syosset Cold Spring Harbor and Huntington, yeah, which would be um, really fantastic. Um, and what else? Um, that's about it for now. Um, yeah, uh, okay, so that, that's the news. That's the news. Um, I'll talk a little bit about what's going on here. Uh, what have we got? We are doing the bridge over Jericho Turnpike. Jericho Turnpike. Now this is, uh, this stretch of track is what leads to uh, East Wilston. So this is the Oyster Bay Branch Line. Uh, this is it after it splits off from Mineola. Uh, just working on doing like a, a girder sort of thing because it's, it's a girder bridge. Um, it's a little bit wonky and uh, I did, I still, you know what, actually I can probably do the finishing touches. Right now I'm still working on this part. Uh, um, yeah, I just want to—I want to kind of apologize if, if it bothers anyone that it takes. I mean, I, I'm going to assume that we will probably get done in six episodes, and by that I mean like the whole town. You know, the whole town probably get done in six episodes. This is episode three that I'm doing the voiceover for right now. I'm recording episode four. You know, maybe I could get it done in episode five. 
leaving. So five to six episodes per town. Um, or at least just Mineola. You know, st stops like Marilyn Avenue, you know, New Hyde Park. Those are, well, I don't want to jinx myself, but I assume those are going to be easy because they're just, they're not as urban as Mineola is. You know, Mineola is pretty urban. Maryland Avenue and New Hyde Park are, are just sort of, uh, just houses. They're just houses. And uh, I already have Mineola and, I'm sorry, I already have Maryland Avenue and New Hyde Park kind of done. I say kind of because, um, like, the stretch from Mineola to New Hyde Park is kind of there and in place. And I don't mind stretching it a little bit further, which I, I think I might have to. Uh, I don't think it's uh, accurate in terms of distance between the two stations, but I, kind of, I have like the groundwork kind of there, you know, I have a, like a draft version almost, you could say. Anyway, so let me continue about what's going on right now. So right now, again, this is Jericho, Jericho Turnpike. It's a long turnpike, I'm pretty sure it connects to the LAE, uh, a couple miles down, and it passes through, ignore the plane, I don't know if you can hear the plane. I'm back in college, by the way, so in case... You'll hear cuts and everything. It's because there's interruptions going on constantly. Um, my Christmas break is over. It's so tragic. It's so sad. It goes down for a couple miles, and right here, I'm, I'm trying to model this uh, sort of embankment end to it. It's not your generic uh, embankment for a trestle. I just heard some guy do the Tarzan yell outside my window. I, this is... I mean, I lived in the city for all my life, but I can give you guys this guarantee right now, college is just stranger than, than living in the city. It really is. I mean, the, 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 the stuff I hear out the window sometimes is just, it boggles my mind. Uh, I remember one time a car alarm was going off for a, a solid hour. Wow, that was painful that, that night. That night was painful. Yeah. Um, which one was it? Um, so... It's, this, it's not your generic kind of wooden embankment, it's this concrete thing, so... And of course there's nothing that fits the shape, so I have to do this makeshift sort of thing with the splines uh, and line it up. And, uh, and it, it looks good, it's a it's, uh, final result, I remember how it looks. My frame rate was also getting really choppy here, which you don't see because I sped it up to 20%, but the frame rate was, was going pretty slow too, so I had to stop record like you'll see sometimes that there's gaps in progress and that's because sometimes i just have to stop recording and and build because when i run the recording software which is just quick time when i run that with um trains the frame rate just drops dramatically and, and it's hard to get stuff done and it's hard it's hard to like just move around because you, you move a little bit and then it'll like be too slow or too fast and it's just irritating um Anyway, so I have that embankment done. I have this right. So I'm trying to find some sort of like a gravel thing. I end up doing it off screen. Um, so anyway, this this stretch, I, I think it's the, I want to say it's the halfway point between Mineola and East Wilson. After that, it's just um, industry on the right side, uh, and then houses on the left side, and then it gets to uh, East Wilson, which is this nice quaint little station and everything, which. Uh, you know, it's very nice looking. It's got a, a sort of like a porch patio gazebo. I don't know what the right terminology of it is. Um, but it's nice. And then after that, I'm going to have the tracks go. I'll have the tracks go a little bit. My strategy for this route is I, I hate seeing like the, the end of the baseboard. So when my strategy is going to be... First off, I would just... I'd really like to say, please... Uh, if you hate that too, um, unfortunately, I don't have, you know, Long Island is extremely flat. You know, it's not even anything like, hey, if this is the Metro North, I'd be able to, like the Hudson Valley, which would be great because the Hudson Valley, like, you just have tall mountains on both sides. So you would never really even be able to kind of like lose your sense of, of immersion. You'd just be surrounded by these mountains. And, and that's why Apple, like, that's why those those maps are so popular, because you're not breaking the immersion, and why you don't really see suburb commuter routes a lot, because they do break the immersion, because they're flat, just stretches of houses. So, 
What I'm gonna do here for this one, I'm gonna try to just copy and paste as much houses. You know, like the further back you go, you're not even gonna like notice that like the houses won't even like, the houses are gonna get to a point where they're just not even gonna line up and that's fine, you won't even notice it. But um, yeah, I just need to do that just to, just to stretch out the distance as much as possible. Um, but for the tracks, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have them kind of do like a, like a sharp, not, not crazy sharp, but like a curve out of the way and everything. That way if you're doing it in first person mode too, you know, you can look and then, and sure, granted, there's not gonna be a curve after most of these places, you know? Um, by the way, I, 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 I might just do Bellrose too, just to get this that stretch of track, because Bellrose is so close to Florida Park. So I think after Bellrose, instead of doing a like UBS arena, like where it is, I just do like a like a right hand turn, just kind of like off screen and everything. That way you can just you know, if you're doing it in the first person mode, which you know is what I would recommend really. Um, if you're doing it in first person mode, you can just look and then it'll you know, kind of leave your your line of sight and you won't have to worry about that. Um, so, uh, what we got here, we are right. We are using approach mediums for three houses that you can download right now on his website. He is not only a great root builder, sorry, he's not only a great root builder, but he's also showing up everyone by making great um, assets now too. So uh, here is his house collection, this is what he's got going on here, and I'm using just a variety of them. I do three blocks and I copy and paste them. Um, oh yeah, this was funny. So I did this. And then, uh, like an idiot, I, I think I was in a rush, and I closed the game, and I didn't save it. So, all of the, all of this house building, because uh, I saved after I did three, all this house building got, uh, which was uh, tragic. But it's okay, because again, it was only three, and then I copied and pasted it. So it wasn't too bad, it was just annoying. I just remembered I have to watch myself because God forbid I did anything um, that took a lot of effort. I mean, then I would have been really pissed. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is just typical one now. It's just houses, houses, houses. And copy and paste it, and even I can't notice it. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And I think I go in. Oh no, I already laid down the sidewalks, that's right. Yeah, the stretches of, uh, of sidewalks, I did that on my own. Um, I'm taking a note from City Skylines, uh, which I feel like me watching so many City Skylines videos instead of Trains videos lately, uh, just because there's so there's so few of them, but there's, there's so many City Skylines um, series out there, and not a lot of Trains Let's Build series that, um, you know, I try and rewatch old ones, but it's not really what I'm looking for sometimes, but a lot of cities kind of stuff has is urban areas and is uh, suburbs. So getting that, I kind of got the influence because you'll see that there is like a, a little patch of grass between the sidewalk and the curb. Like I added the curb and then I moved the sidewalk inward and everything. Cause it was, I mean, it's just a small little notice, uh, sorry small little detail that I noticed only picking that up from watching City Skyline videos though because I always usually just whenever I do that stuff I just put the sidewalk straight to the curb but you know it's it, it's a uh, it's a nice little deal because that's where the trees go that's where the fire hydrant is that that area is not on your front lawn it's in this no man's land between you know the street and the sidewalk uh, which I think is still considered uh, that like town's property. I don't even think it's actually your property if you own a house. Uh, that little no man's land. Um, so copy and paste it here. Now you see the strat. And then I'm going to do uh, two blocks. And then I, oh, I'm readjusting now. And then I'm going to just copy and paste two blocks. And I'm going to put them back. And you'll see that I don't go all the way to Jericho Turnpike because at Jericho there's a storefront line. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a, like a Roof. There's already like storefront uh, assets, so I'll just use that. Then there's the fire station behind it, and then there's uh, there's City Hall, which doesn't look anything like a City Hall. You look at that and you go, what is that? It's uh, a... 
more of a community center than it is. I mean, ten, no, no, I mean, it is technically City Hall, but it just doesn't look like one. You know, like when you think of one, you're thinking of like a old classic style architecture building, maybe, you know, maybe something small and quaint. I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm from New York, so whenever I think of City Hall, I think of, uh, you know, downtown City Hall. I'm thinking of like, you know, right across from uh, uh, the municipal building and all that stuff uh, on Broadway. So that's what I think of. But um, in the old, it's very, uh, very small. Very small very what do we got here? Oh, no, I'm lining up the trees. I'm pretty sure there's a... There was a cut. Let's see. Yeah, there was a cut. Right. So the, the new houses that you see, this was um, post screw up. Um, this is when I had to redo them all, and everything. that's why uh, you'll see that I even added the ones that are closer to the track. Uh, what's right here on the left, which I was actually working on like 20 minutes ago before I started doing this voice recording, is you know baseball field, uh, apartment buildings, and that stuff. But right now I'm working on the sort of tree line because I was actually so surprised by how many how much kind of like shrubbery was was squeezed in like it's a really thin line of trees and that's where I was trying to, that's why I, I brought up so close to the track and I tried to get thin trees the bigger bushier ones I bring down with yeah so it, why I bring them down so low is to create like not a feeling of you know, sunken trees, but more of like really big bushes or really big shrubs, you know, shrubbery, like that's, that's what I'm going for, um, that's why, I, that's, that's my strap, uh, and then here you have the, the trees, and then I just bundle up and bundle up and bundle up layer of like grass and, and trackside and all that stuff, yeah, now I'm changing the levels and everything, because I don't want it obviously all to be the same, you know, there's, there's balance, there's difference, and you, you look down the tracks and it looks packed. And then you like, you know, you turn to the side and you see if there's a lot of space in between those trees. Um, yeah, that's just how it is in real life. They're very thin trees. Very, very thin. Uh, but they're, they're thin, but they're, they're thick enough to the point where you really can't even see what's behind the trees most of the time, too, actually. So, uh, that's also why I bundle up a lot of uh, grass there and everything. Um, what else? Yeah, now I'm just looking for the trackside stuff. The good old trackside stuff. And th my thing for that is you just, uh, I, I think most people's thing is, um, is you just, you don't do it once. You know, you gotta thicken that up. You gotta thicken up that layer. You gotta go over like three times, do three different splines in the same place. You know, you gotta, you gotta make it a little congested and crowded. Uh, all right, so what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm just not a big fan of the, um, why didn't I just raise the track, actually? That's funny. I don't know why I didn't do that. I think that was my original plan. Uh, maybe it's because it was the grade crossing. I think that might have been it. Um, so instead, I am uh, bringing the ballast in between tracks. Why am I yawning so much? Oh, man, this is like the first, because today was my first day of classes, so... I guess, like, my body was just so used to get, hey, my body wasn't even used to getting up at like 1 p.m. I had to wake up all, pretty early actually, almost every day, considering I was on Christmas break. I had to go into the city all the time. So, here you go. Now you see what I mean. A lot of it is also hedges and everything, but the problem with hedges is that there's no real, like, natural hedges. You know, it's, you know, they're very square. Like, they're neatly cut and trimmed. And that's just not the way it looks. And the thing with shrubs too is also it's kind of like they're a repeated pattern. So that's also why I use the trees a lot of times because the trees I can use multiple different trees and then just bring them low down to the ground and they look like a messy hedge. That's that's what I go for. And uh, yeah, so I see that here. But you see again, they're a little bit too prominent. Like you just realize it's just the same repeating. You know, you, you tell it's a, sl a spline. And so here I go and I break it up by adding um, small trees. Uh, what is this called? Cust? Yeah, these are great. Because these are, these are basically what I'm going for. These are basically the same, you know, shrubbery kind of individual assets and everything. So I just go and I just da -da -da, I dot them around to try and break up that spline. So, you know, you don't just look down and you're like, oh, this is the same spline from 
five blocks ago. You see, you look at it now, it looks a little bit better. I think I add some here. I hope I add some there, and I don't, okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe I go back and I add some later. What we got here, this is it. This is the, the splitting part. This is, uh, this is the junction. Now this little sort of area here um, between the Oyster Bay branch on the right, which curves, and then the main, land, uh, main line on the left, it's this sort of a uh, maintenance away facility. Uh, I don't know what the specific term is, but you know, workers kind of set up here, and now it looks very different because of the third track project. So it's just kind of nothing. There's a bunch of construction crap, and it kind of goes up and down. Woo! But before it used to be like a maintenance away thing. There was this little module office. There was uh, I, well, I took the liberty on the. The, I took a took a liberty on the uh, the Coca Cola vending machine. Uh, it's just because I'm a sucker for Coke. Uh, if you oh yeah, I forgot last last recording I was chugging down cherry cokes. I miss those cherry cokes, man. I really do. Oh, this was so hot. I didn't know what those little boxes there are called, but um, now I'm gonna try and look for them now. Oh, I was just looking. I was fiddling so much with the ties and the scenery, uh, just because I wanted them to make them look right those boxes I forgot what they're called but you can look and you'll see um, you can look and you'll see uh, what the name of the acid is um, it was very very helpful though uh, when I finally did find them uh, here I'm just layering up uh, ties uh, I think some of them are floating though so I bring them down a little bit yep and uh, oh, someone told me to replace the cranes. I'm so sorry I did not replace the cranes. Maybe before, if, if I still remember to do it afterwards, I'll go back and I'll, I'll change the uh, the crane truck sort of thing. I'll, I'll change it to like a, a better asset. I didn't like, see, I liked the way in which those ties were set up. Like, I liked how they were layered, but the problem is that they're, they're narrow gauge ties. But you can literally tell. I mean, they're just small. I, I didn't like that. Um, but I liked how they were kind of bundled up on this sort of like little little hill mountain sort of thing going on it wasn't just flat on the ground so oh well we can't all be choosers Beggar, beggars can't be choosers and then when I said oh you know what I was realizing too when I was when I was looking back at this the telephone poles are so complicated and I even realized that when I was doing mm. This yawn is starting to annoy me now. This is like last episode when I was coughing up a storm. Gee, I can't, I can't like do like an uninterrupted recording. What am I even placing down? What am I doing? What am I doing here? What is this? Are those splint piles? Oh no, that's the, that's the slate pile. Dude, I'll tell you man, these slate piles, they are awesome. They are awesome. I heard about them from the Approach Medium server and they're great space fillers. I mean, they really are. You know, you just look at them and you go, what is that? Well, I don't know. They're just like, you just, you kind of look at them and you go, hey, it's just something, it's there. And by the time you're even thinking about it, you're just, you're gone already. You know what I mean? When you're passing by on the train, you're like, oh, it's the stuff there. You know, it's stuff. Like, honestly, it is It is exactly what you think of when you, when you think of the word stuff. It's great. It's, it, I love it. Um, it's dense, it's good. Right, so the telephone poles, man. Why are the telephone poles so damn complicated in this town? It is, it's, you look at that. Oh, lordy. Oh, there's so many. Ah, it's scary. And I don't know what they're all called. I'm pretty sure they're not all the same thing. So I'm going to wait if I can get, <laughs> if anyone knows a, uh, if anyone happens to know a, uh, a telephone pole expert, uh, power line expert, or whatever the hell it really is technically called, um, please, please send them my way, or, or give me some tips or advice on like what they're called. Um, so I, I don't even bother with that. Um, what was I, what was I looking for now? Road end. Oh yeah, I was trying to find bumpers, uh, kind of like the, uh, the, the crash barriers. I'm looking for crash barriers. I didn't really see any though, so I just kind of said, all right, whatever, and I just put a, a a wooden fence there. I surrendered. I surrendered. I know. I gave in to the man. Um, that railroad crossing is not done yet. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot the railroad crossings. I think I did that between 
I did that before I shot this episode. Yeah, I, I set up all Atlas Crossings. So they're all working and they're all uh, looking good. They're all looking good, and obviously, except for that one. Because uh, I didn't put in the road at that time. But uh, yeah, there's, I think, I think just two. It's that one on the Oyster Bay Ranch and then the one, not even like a quarter of a block down. Um, yeah, those two work, so that's that's good. No problems. Um, a lot of railroad crossings. Yeah, we even get like there's even like more complicated railroad crossings um, because of course there is. Because of course something that you would think would just be simple like a suburban commuter route, but it's just because it's it's these decades of just change and change and change and change that they just get so weird, so weird. Anyway, we're coming up to the end of the episode now. Um, I got something a little bit special for you guys. I had to sacrifice my frame rate for this, but I set up all my uh, all my settings to max. You're gonna get some cinematics. You're gonna see what we got so far in this episode. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, leave some feedback down in the comments below. If you would like to help with this route, also leave a comment down below. Um, hit me up if you guys get the chance. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, share. Do what you guys can to help support this series. Thank you so much. I'm Empire State Rails. I will see you guys next week. Have a good night.